Yo, what is up my prompter people? This is Shane, I'm the creator of the Prompter Guide website, and let's get to it. No one likes really long videos, so I'm gonna try to keep this one really short, but I wanna show you a few different things. So a few days ago, I put out a new version of Prompter, and go figure, mid-journey made a bunch of changes. So I had to go into the back end, change a bunch of stuff, some code, but I added some cool new features that I think you'll like. First things first, you're probably like, dude, why do I need this really weird complex spreadsheet when all you do is type? But that's actually the reason I use my own prompting tool, is it's less typing. So check this out. Let's go up to main idea and type something in. A cute mouse with cheese, that's amazing, right? So check it out. There's all these different options like tile, HD, video, stylize, and all of those are available because we're in version three right now. If we go to the algorithms here, we can go down and select 4A. Now everything changes. We can't use tile, stylize is zero to 1000. And then if we go to aspect ratios, we're pretty limited, right? So let's skip that. We're gonna go with the newest style, version 4C. Now, if I go to aspect ratios, it changed. So it's populated with all these different options. Let's go with 16.9. Now let's fill some parameters. Stylize, let's say 800. Chaos, let's get weird, 75, right? And now look at that. Our prompt at the bottom automatically fills all that stuff in so we don't have to type it. Now let's add a medium. If I go up to that box and click it, we have art movements, flat output, like a billboard, blueprint, brochure, all the way down to this dimensional output. So let's pick something here. How about an enamel pin? That might be neat. And now we're done. So let's just click our prompt, copy, go into Discord, paste and hit enter. That's all we have to do. You don't even have to type imagine or anything. All right, and there we go. We have an enamel pin of a cute mouse with cheese. I actually really love how some of these came out. And this is the one reason why Mid Journey sucks, is that these pins don't exist. Like, look at this guy. He's almost like wearing cheese or something. Anyway, that's pretty awesome. So let's say we're done with this prompt, but I want to save it for later. If we go down to the save button and click that, the prompt has been saved to my prompts. If we click here and scroll way down to the bottom, you can see that an enamel pin of a cute mouse has been saved, and it even has the date and time and a section for notes. It's kind of useful if you come across any prompts that are, you know, really neat or memorable. Now let's go back and say we're done with this completely. If we hit the clear button, that'll clear everything out and we can start all over again, right? Pretty sweet. So now let's go up to main idea. And I'm gonna say, A rocky mountain surrounded by fog. Awesome. Aspect ratio, let's go wide again. And now let me show you the newest feature. These little dice here are buttons. And what they do is pick a random descriptor from each section. So check it out. If we go up to medium, let's click that and we got a logo. All right, now let's go over to lighting. Fluorescent tube, well that is gonna be interesting. Let's go over to color and pick another random one. Black and white, let's say we don't like that. Just press it again and you'll get another random one. Dark orange, okay. So now let's go down and copy our prompt, go into Discord and paste it. Sweet, so what we did is automated the automation, right? And some people may say that randomness is not creative, but I think there's a lot of potential in there. You could definitely explore some new ideas. So check this out, we definitely got the dark orange and there's even fluorescent tubes in a bunch of them. I really like this top right one. It's very graphical. And the top left one is a little silly. It's like this almighty light bulb or something weird. So let's move forward with a different idea. I'm gonna go back to prompter, clear that out so we could start new, and let's go up to the main idea. A gigantic furry monster in a desert. Amazing, right? So now let's go to aspect ratio, and I'm gonna pick something a little different. We'll go two, three, make it a nice portrait. And now I added this random button at the bottom that'll select different random terms from every single section. So let's click that and see what we get. All right, so now we have a gigantic furry monster in the desert, tarot card, fisheye lens, volumetric lighting, rainbow color, kaleidoscope, that's weird, Robert and Shana Park Harrison, who are great photographers, 
Dune, and Quake. Probably the best video game ever. So that's a lot. That's probably way too much random things, but I think there's something fun in that. So let's go ahead and just copy this prompt and paste it into Discord. All right, and here it is. I actually think some of these came out pretty sweet. You know, a little bit of tarot card. I don't know about Robert and Shayna Park Harrison. Definitely got the desert and this furry monster turned into like a wolf or cat-like thing in a few. But anyway, I think it shows that like playing with randomness is really fun and it can be inspirational. Maybe it'll give you some ideas in other work. But yeah, that's it. I just wanted to show you a few ways you can kind of have fun with a prompting tool like this. And um, I don't know, just keep making weird stuff. Peace.